Hey guys, you ready for uh, the Real Bearded Businessman year in review? Welcome back everybody. I am Brian, the Real Bearded Businessman. And as you guys know, I started this channel here to not only uh, document my uh, my journey to finding my financial independence, but also reducing some debt, becoming a better investor, and and you know really trying to to document the process and the journey uh, along the way to to hopefully um, help some of you out there and uh, you know give you guys some optimism or what and whatnot if if you, you guys are trying to do the same so. That's kind of the goal of why I started this channel now. I guess it's about really 13 months, so it's not really a yearly review. Um, but I did want to just drop this video for you and kind of give you guys an update. Um, and just, you know, again, if, if it's something that, that you guys are interested in, I just kind of want to, you know, lay it out there and I'm going to give myself an honest review of, of my process here in the last year. Let's start off with when I started the channel, what some of my goals were. So some of my goals were obviously, I was gonna be this big time YouTube star. I was gonna crush it. I was gonna be making 10 grand a month. I was gonna be able to say, I don't need a job anymore. I don't need any, any of that, right? So let's see how close I got there, right? So the goal was 3000 subscribers. I don't remember exactly what I'm at now or what I'm at now, but as of the filming of this video, I think I'm about 130 subscribers, so obviously I'm pretty far off from that 3,000. My other goal was to have over 150 videos. Once again, I don't remember exactly where I'm at, but I think this may be like my 90th video or my 91st video when I finally uh, get it edited and uploaded, right? So I missed those two things, right? And uh, let's see, um, yearly uh, or at least monthly income, 10 grand a month. Yeah, nowhere near that. Um, I'll let you guys know a little bit if you keep watching uh, what my monthly income actually was the last year. And it was better than zero, so don't, don't get too crazy there, you know? Um, but it wasn't 10 grand a month. It was very, very far off from that. So, so I kind of missed on all those three things. And so when I initially sat back and I was actually trying to figure out how I was gonna film this video and what I was gonna talk about, I'll be honest, I started getting a little sad and a little down on myself, right? So I had a year to, to, to find some success and to better myself. And when I started really writing this stuff down and making that bullet, you know, that bulletized list there, I was like, wow, I was like, I really missed the market. And I don't know if I'm really that much better off or that much further along after these 12 months, or I should really say 13 months, but but still, I don't know if I'm really that far off. And I'm glad that I took that list and I put it in my desk drawer and I walked away. And that's why it's probably 13 months now because it took me a couple weeks, actually probably close to a month, to pull that list back out. And, and I took that list and I folded the piece of paper over and I, I stopped myself from looking at the list. And I said, that, that, that's, that, that, that's, that's the old way of thinking, right? This is the new way of thinking. This is 2020. I'm going to be optim optimistic in 2020. I'm going to have that 2020 vision, right? So um, I'm sure I'm not the first one to use that, but uh, so I'm going to have that 2020 vision, right? So I flip that page over and I sit there and I go, where am I today that I wasn't a year ago, right? So let's start off personally, oh, oh, aside from uh, as aside from YouTube and this channel, right? So personally, I'm happily married one more year. I I, I was working at a at, you know a, a job with a career path that I didn't necessarily uh, feel was going to fulfill me for like the next 30 years of my life, and I really feel like in a lot of ways was you know kind of holding me back a little bit. Uh, when I really got down to it, aside from the my friends and the people that I worked with, I couldn't come up with a single positive in that career. It, it was it was killing me. And I left work emotionally drained. And and if you leave a work or a career um, emotionally drained, it's probably time to start looking around, right? So 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 that's kind of you know that that's kind of where I was there. But 
also this past year, I got a new job that is not only forcing me to, to learn new skill sets, but is also giving me the tools and the opportunities to perfect those skill sets. So, so for me, that was a big, a big plus up. Um, and, and now in my career, I still love the people I work with. They're awesome, awesome people. And, and not only that, but I see big time trajectory and big time trajectory paths. Um, you know, in that career path. I, I, I don't leave emotionally drained anymore. I, I leave emotionally happy and like I did something good that day and I provided a product and a service to a customer. And and so just from that standpoint, it's, it's way better. I leave mentally drained because I've been working all day and quite frankly, I'm just tired at the end of the day and I'm okay with that, you know? So, so right there, my skill sets are better. My, my trajectory is better. My optimism is way higher, right? So that's, that's on the personal side, right? So now let's bring in the channel and all this stuff again. And so as you guys know, I have this channel. I've been getting this channel, uh, you know, uh, going and stuff within the last year. I've also been doing some affiliate marketing. I talk about investing a lot. So I want to make sure I get them all here. Yeah. So, you know, I, you know, as you guys know, I mostly do REIT investing, but I do I do a fair amount of other uh, stock investing and stuff like that, and as well as crypto. Can't forget crypto, you know. So I just kind of wanted to break down real quick for you, you know, what 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 really the intangibles were that I started writing down, right? So I told you about the stuff on the personal side, but on the channel side, right? What where, where I'm, am I now that I wasn't this time last year? And I'm gonna be honest with you right now, guys, I have way more friends that I've met through YouTube and social media and stuff like that, that I gotta be honest with you, way more way more support than I've, I've ever imagined that I would get from, from somebody I've actually not met ever in real life, that the most personal interaction I've probably ever had is through some sort of Skype call or, or I mean, you know, phone call, maybe, uh, you know, a tweet, a direct message, something. That's the most personal that I've ever really had with any of these other, uh, uh, you know, YouTubers and creators and stuff. And that, that to me is I, I've just grown my, uh, my friend base, you know, and, uh, you know, gotten a lot more support. The other piece to it is, is in doing all of this, it's changed my mindset. And to the point where a year ago, I'm like, man, I'm like, how do these like, you know, entrepreneurial guys just like, they just seem to get lucky and find these, uh, find these opportunities to start investing in. And I'll be honest with you, now just in that change of mindset, it's taken me a year, but changing that mindset, I understand it now. And it's not that they're getting lucky, it's that they're able to see the opportunity in front of them. And it's not that I wasn't seeing, it's not that the opportunities don't necessarily get presented, you just aren't looking for them. And to me, that was a huge takeaway over the past 12 months. And I'll be honest, there's been a couple times that I've sat there and I've had conversations with people and I've gone, if I had a little bit more money right now, that sounds like a pretty good idea. And I think we could actually make some serious, serious cash at that, you know? And I think that's what it is, is, is you just, you, you have that mindset shift and now you're able to sit down and go, that's what I want. That's what I have the money for. And that's where I'm, I'm headed and I'm going to make money off of that. And, and I think that's kind of how this, how this process is supposed to go. Right? So, so those are kind of some of the other things that I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, kind of tied into this channel, but also not really is I have way less debt than I did when I started this uh, Paid off credit cards. Obviously the, the, the my my truck loan is no longer uh, no longer with me, you know uh, I, So I, I own my vehicle outright, you know, I'm still obviously paying a mortgage and stuff like that But uh, right now this year, I'm just trying to, to kill the rest of it get that done So that way all of my earnings are 100% my earnings, right? And I think that's another thing that I've, that I've found is when you start understanding that the bigger, better nest egg you have sitting there ready to go in the bank, you under, you start getting a lot more confident and feeling like, hey, I can really do this. I can go buy an investment opportunity and go buy a house. I can go buy a ton of stock. I can go. I could go start a business with a friend and say, hey, I'm going to come out with the new, the newest cell phone or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm not particularly creative, but I think you guys get where I'm headed. So 
And then, like I said here at the end, I uh, I did promise you to give you guys some income updates. Uh, obviously, I don't have the you know what YouTube pays me for a million followers, and uh, you know you know I don't have the uh, you know all those things. You know what what YouTube pays me for a, a thousand commercials or whatever. But I do have some real life numbers here, and I just kind of wanted to share them with you. So, so just from affiliate, so I'm only adding in my affiliate marketing. Uh, obviously, I'm not making anything from YouTube. I don't have any commercials, which is fine. Uh, so I'm adding in my affiliate marketing and just what I've uh, been dripping or uh, dividend reinvestment program, uh, what I've been bringing in per year uh, since this time last year, right? So. I'm only doing it for my investments that I've talked about here on the channel and for the private REIT that I invest in, which I've also talked about here, right? So when you break it down, guys, I thought I made nothing. And on the original side of that sheet, I was like, man, I didn't make anything. But really, guys, today, and a lot of it is from, from your help out there, I brought in last year 432 bucks. And I know that's not impressive, right? 432 bucks, that's like, it's, you can't even make a car payment on 432 bucks uh, a year. Well, I brought it in a year, but you can't make $432 payment uh, on a car in a month from, for, for most vehicles out there nowadays. And it breaks down to 36 bucks a month, which is, again, not quite so impressive, but really when I get down to it, I know that I'm never gonna make 36 bucks a month ever again. Uh, in my life, I'm always going to be making more. Why? Because I now have this, the mindset, I now have the skill set, and I understand that, the, that there's not only power in the compounding interest of your investment, but also in the compounding interest of your mind and your drive. And that's really what I've learned. Changing that mindset, understanding that sometimes the best investment you can make is in yourself and in your future, that's what really, really locked, uh, you know, locked things in and, and became very apparent this, uh, this year here. So that's what I got today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's probably a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I do want to thank everybody out there for, for supporting me along the way, helping me out, answering my questions, and for, for, for my family and friends out there that have, that have been, you know, obviously been with me since, since the beginning of me, uh, I want to thank you guys as well out there. You guys have been awesome. And uh, thank you for dealing with the fact that sometimes I don't have a ton of time on my hands. So that's where I'm at, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys are having fun in 2020. Not only are you uh, uh, investing and making money and trying to find your own financial independence, but also having uh, fun and enjoying the journey along the way. I love that 2020 vision. I love that 2020 drive. But at the end of the day, if we're miserable, it's not worth it. So see you guys and have fun.